Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, this is something well, I think is quite exciting and a bit different. This is a non-production prototype of the new Subtle Digs lockpick set. Okay, so Subtle Digs were very kind of to send um, me, although frankly us, this lockpick set so that we can provide some feedback, which I think is really, really excellent of a, a new sort of started up company. Um, you might remember Subtle Digs from their Trifold set that I reviewed not so long ago. Here it is. And I considered the presentation to be very nice, but the picks were uh, maybe a little bit thick in terms of width and shank height for European tastes, um, although perfectly functional in wider keyways. It was a really nicely presented set. What I really like about Subtle Digs is that they haven't just been um, settling on making that Trifold set, they've started to think about their own designs um, and, and a new pick set and taking on board all the feedback they got from that Trifold set. And that makes me really like this company. Um, let's just take a look at one of these and bear in mind, these are pre-production prototypes. They're not finished in any way. These are straight off the laser cutter and sent to me. Um, so, you know, you can't judge them for any of the finish. It's, it's not been tumbled, not been polished, and absolutely nothing, uh, just as it came in the post. And you can see that the design, well, I really like it. It's got this sort of organic sort of web design. I don't know what to call it, but I, it's kind of nice, isn't it? In terms of its overall size, um, it's absolutely in line with pretty much all the other main pick makers out there. So we've got a handle which is about three inches or eight centimeters long um, with a tip or the shank there being about four centimeters ish, about one and a half inches. Um, and like I said, that's that's perfectly standard really. The one thing I did notice, apart from the what I think is very good looks of these picks, is that the way I hold these picks, um, or any pick for that matter, is I tend to pinch at the tip of the handle and rest my finger on the shank to support the um, picking tip. And by accident or design, this cutaway here actually allows me to get some really nice grip um, just by pinching between the two. Something that I really like, although it was probably unintentional. And again, uh, just picking it this way up would be perfectly fine as well. And actually it's these two cutouts for me and my thumbs, um, which would provide that purchase. I really like the design. Um, and you can see that they've got their uh, Subtle Digs logo just there, which is really nice. Uh, shows that they were involved in making it, which is really great. So what do we get in the set? And again, um, Subtle Digs are looking for our feedback. And I guess they're looking for a, a little starter set there. So clearly they're not looking at uh, adding hundreds and hundreds of different picks to this, but this is what you get in the uh, pre-production prototype set. And you can see we have two hooks here. So let me have a look at that. So we've got a little short hook there. We have a medium hook. We have a half diamond, slightly rounded, very good for wafer locks, these types of uh, picks I find. We have a deforest half diamond. We have a snake rake. It's quite a large one, I think you'll find, but it's definitely not a, a double peak worm rake. It's um, it's definitely a large peak and a small peak. We have a double peak Bogota. Very nice. Um, this it's quite a nice shaped Bogota. This one, as you can see, it's a triple peak there. Um, I have used this one in a couple of locks. Before I film this video, we have a triple peak worm, one of my favorite sort of ones, just uh, really works with things like master locks in particular, I find, and a city rake. Something which um, some people don't like, but I feel that you can't really have a starter kit without one. It's just a sort of a classic profile and certainly one worth learning with. Um, I've got a few very easy locks to, to pick with. I'm just gonna go through just, you know, use each one of these picks in turn on a couple of very easy locks as I'm looking for how the pick performs, not how difficult the lock is. That That's just silly. There's no need to make it like a challenge. So um, on that note, <laughs> let's start out with something like this um, Master Lock 3 and a short hook. 
and it is a short hook. I like the depth. It definitely, definitely needs tumbling though. That's one thing because you can't have a, um, a tip which is that sharp. It gives very odd feedback in the locks um, because of its sharpness, not because of anything else. Um, it's going through this little master lock and looks like it's the last pin there. Let's push them up. There we go. Should have probably use a deeper hook on that actually. Um, yeah, performs very well as you'd expect with a little short hook. Lovely, nothing wrong with that at all. What have I got here? We've got a different master lock here. Uh, so let's try the medium hook. They're just going through the pins. I wouldn't normally use a, a medium hook on this lock to be perfectly honest with you, but um, I should be able to get it, even though it's a bit big um, in this lock. There we go, got it. Um, yeah, they, they feel fine. I think that the only thing that I could say about those, apart from the fact that they need to be uh, tumbled to, to just make the tips a bit a bit rounder and get better feedback on the, the shanks, is that it would probably be nice just to have a slightly deep hook as well. You don't use them as often, but I think that a short hook and a medium hook, it sort of is asking for a, um, a deep hook there as well, isn't it? Okay, let's swap around to this little half diamond. I'll probably just put some light tension in, give it a scrub, and if that doesn't work, then um, then we will just uh, do a bit of picking as well and, uh, and, and finish it off. There we go. Yeah, works exactly as you'd expect. Perfectly nice. Um, is it worth having a single, double, and triple peak bow guitar? Yeah, I'd say so, because like I said, these single peaks are just brilliant in wafer locks. Um, so nothing wrong with that at all. So the forest half diamond there, pretty nice. And uh, let's see how this one feels in this so, you know, this, this I guess, is a, a reasonable uh, replacement for a, a deeper hook. The only thing I would say with this profile, and I've been considering this a bit, is that whilst I don't use DeForest Diamonds that often, I would expect the angle of it just to be ever so slightly more up and a slightly thinner shank after the joint there. Just so, actually, if you're not going to have a, a, a deeper hook, then this um, DeForest half diamond if angled up just a small amount more would definitely substitute for that and um, would definitely please the the deforest diamond crew so that was uh the hooks half diamonds and hybrids um definitely worth now exploring these rakes starting with this snake rake and i do have something to say about this off the bat which is it's definitely about half a millimeter higher in terms of its amplitude than similar snake rakes. One thing I really like about it is it's definitely got two peaks. A lot of snake rakes seem to sort of truncate themselves um, somewhere halfway up the first peak, which I always found a bit weird. It glides better through the lock like this, but um, I do feel for smaller keyways, just a tiny bit lower in the amplitude would be really, really useful. So there we go. Uh, there we go. Not the easiest lot to uh, rake this one because it's got some pretty good bitting. Next up, I guess we have the double peak. And whilst I could do some rocking and raking with that, I actually fancy trying to zip this little master lock three. Um, so put it in, um, put a little bit of tension on, and try again. There we go. So yeah, it works very well at zipping the lock. So next up we have the Bogota, and do you know what, I want to try something a little bit different. I've got a, a Euro lock with this key, which has a nice bitting, lots of ups and downs, uh, six pins, paracentric keyway, there we go. It's a bit more challenging for uh, these picks and um, I always like to try and use a bow guitar on a on a euro 
in the first instance, try and get a false set and then pick the rest of the pins. So let's have a go at this one, put it in, give it a nice wriggle. If it doesn't work, then reset. And we're open, there we go. So yeah, works perfectly well that Bogotar, lovely job. Now, as soon as I saw, as soon as, as, soon as I saw this um, worm rake here, I just thought that's going to absolutely eat up um, mast locks with shallow bittings. It's just going to absolutely eat them alive. So um, should give it a go, just put that in, give it a, there we go, straight away. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's just a nice worm rake. So next up is the uh, city rake. Um, and yeah, this is an odd one because it just seems a little bit short. And I've compared it to another couple of city rakes and it, it's good for sort of um, small four and five pin locks. But if I was going to put it in a, a larger, say a Euro cylinder with six pins, I think I'd struggle to use that in a rocking action to engage with all of the pins. That being said, let's just uh, give it a fair shot on this four pin master lock and, and see where we get to. <laughs> well, that opened straight away. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's clearly effective, but uh, maybe if it's just a little bit longer, maybe two, three millimeters longer at the tip, that would certainly go a long way. So conclusions, um, I had no problems at all using these uh, in the locks that I have tried them in. I haven't tried a massive variety. So the profiles are absolutely fine. As you'd expect, they're nice profiles and the shank heights um, are actually like really shallow. So even though these pre-production picks are quite thick, 32 thousandths, the thin shank height certainly helps. Um, what do I like about these? picks well I really do like the designs uh, I, I just think that this these cutouts they're just really nice I like a lot of the the, the Bogota and worm profiles a lot um, I think the short and medium hook once tumbled would be really nice um, anything that I don't like well again these are pre-production so it's hard to say where they're going to end up I have been chatting to the Subtle Digs team and they say that they are considering doing these in um, full hard 301 stainless, which is perfect, I think, that's, that's a good choice. Um, but these ones they sent are in 32 thousandths of an inch. Again, that might not be the final thickness. They have told me they're certainly considering um, thinner widths, if you like, for picks. So if I was suggest to suggest anything with um, shank heights like that, I'd say, 25 thousandths of an inch would be a nice compromise. It would be strong enough um, for, for beginners to use, but slim enough um, for the tighter, more European style keyway. So um, I think if these are in 25 thousandths of an inch, they just reduced the peak height of the um, snake a little bit and extended the length of that city rake. I'd say that's a pretty good kit. I can't wait to see what the final version is, what they decided to go with, um, if they did any additions, what the tension tools are going to be like, what the case is going to be like. I think all of that's to be uh, decided yet. Uh, so all I want you to do, if you don't mind, is just obviously like the video, subscribe if you haven't, but but just comment below. Just if you've got anything constructive, anything you'd like to feed back to them, you know, make it constructive, make it positive, because what we do want to do is, you know, help our manufacturers provide the things that we want. So just saying um, overly positive things or overly negative things, whilst, you know, that's, that's fine, I guess. It's not really helpful, and I think that's what we need to be. So, yeah, do comment below. Do let me know what you think. Let Subtle Digs know what you think. They will be reading these comments. And I guess thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.